Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to set up your Gravity Forms date picker to only allow for future dates to be selected. By default, date pickers allow your user to select any day. However, if you're building an order, a reservation, or even a delivery, we only want our users to be able to select days in the future. Luckily, setting this up is incredibly easy with Gravity Form limit dates, and I'm going to show you how. Let's get started. All right, so first we can head to our gravity form and scroll down to our date picker and click the settings button right above. Then on the right side, we can click the perks drop down, And right here where it says minimum date, all we have to do is click this and select current date. And that'll make it so our users can no longer select dates that are before our current date. Now when we go back to our website and scroll down, we can see that all the days before today are blocked out and I can't even go back a month to try to select days in the past. Another really cool feature with gravity form limit dates is that we can actually add a buffer to our current date here. This is really helpful in situations where we may want to prevent our customers from making same day reservations or even selecting an expected delivery date that is outside of our company's standard turnaround time. Limit Dates expects this in PHP date relative format, and I'll leave a link to that below in the description of this video. So let's say in our hotel example, we don't want people to be able to make same day reservations, but instead these dates have to be at least two days in the future. In that scenario, we can just do plus two days. And now when we come back to our website and scroll down, we can see that not only is every day before this blocked out, but we also have that buffer of the fifth and sixth blocked out as well. One last little tip. We can actually do the exact same thing for past dates as well. All you do is go to the maximum date instead of the minimum date and select the current date. And now back on our website, we can see that in this date picker, we can no longer select any dates in the future, but can only select days in the past. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and remember to stay tuned to the channel for more videos with tips and tricks on how to perfect your Gravity Forms date picker. I'll see you next time.